Anirudh Sharma isn't an artist, but he and his team have come up with a creative way to tackle air pollution. What we are saying is that while the pollution is being released in, in the environment, why don't you capture it? And once you capture it, make use of that pollution rather than throwing it into a waste stream. Sharma and his colleagues at Graviki Labs are taking pollutants from diesel engine and chimney emissions and turning them into ink. We have a plasma-based uh, emission control technology that fits onto the exhaust of the tailpipes of the generators and chimneys. And without affecting the performance of the, of the engine or the chimney, it captures all the pollution that would have otherwise gone into the environment. Air ink is made of black carbon that has been purified and turned into a pigment base for inks and paints. About 50 minutes of diesel car pollution goes into markers like these. The product takes its cues from history, when the first inks were made from the black soot of oil lamps. There were mosques that were painted in Turkey uh, by an art architect called Sinai, who used to take the lamp black from the lamp that was burned at the night and write poetry and calligraphy on the walls. Air ink isn't available for purchase, but through artist partnerships, the startup is taking over public spaces with its own message of environmental awareness. It's more of a activism tool, it's more of a branding tool, so people believe in it, it, it gets people started to talk about pollution. It's an issue that won't be solved overnight, but in places like India, where Sharma is from, it's an attempt to work with a pollutant that's seemingly everywhere. When you go back to India, you see, you see it in your face. And for us, it did a big thing that, well, how do we utilize this problem as a, as a solution itself? Air pollution knows no borders. It's, it's a problem everywhere. We're trying to bring the technology everywhere it's required right now. Tina Trin, VOA News, New York.